Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Another fun video here. I bought myself another storage auction locker. Uh, lots and lots of fun. I spent 60 bucks on this locker. From what I've been told, it's actually a construction company. They had a bunch of overstuff and whatever for, for whatever reason they decided to uh, abandon this locker and not pay on it. So I won it at auction. I paid 60 bucks for it. It should be a fun locker to go through. Uh, the auction was just the other day. If you guys haven't checked out that video, I do have a video on the auction itself. So if you guys are ever curious how legit this kind of stuff is, I do record the auction itself and not just the auction clean out and the whole clean out process. But what we'll do is we'll go through his locker and I'll show you guys exactly what we find. So let's get into it. Let's see what we find in the locker today. Let's do it. Alrighty, so right off the bat, we got some boxes up front. Looks like we have a lot of shelving over here on the left. Got ourselves a walking stick, maybe. Garbage can, tons of these five gallon buckets. More shelving. So, big money is definitely in the shelving in this locker, and I think that's why I went for so much, aside from the fact that I want it. But. Uh, we'll run through a couple of these boxes. I'll try to throw some of these bins in the back of the van or the barrels. And it should be a doozy. So the first box, looks like we just have empty garbage. That's a whiteboard. Oh, all that stuff is. Empty box, bubble wrap, tons of these leather gloves. Fire extinguisher, which is, I don't know if it's still good. There's also a fire extinguisher. Got ourselves another one and another one. I'll grab that bin just for fire extinguishers and another fire extinguisher. Brand new, might be all right. So we got ourselves about three, four fire extinguishers. So one of the big kickers in this locker are definitely these bins. Most of the time, whenever you come across, how's oh, that? That's not going to focus too well. Whenever you come across these black and yellow bins, it's almost like it's always filled with tools. So uh, this was kind of like what I was after, hoping that maybe these were filled up with tools. I get 50 bucks a piece, but I see on the top of this, it does say fire ext. So it's probably fire extinguishers. And that's exactly what it is. So you can never go wrong with fire extinguishers. However, I wasn't really expected to find more of these. Hopefully they all work. The one good thing about finding fire extinguishers here is I generally like to kind of give them away and I give them away to people who can try and experiment with them because the worst thing you could possibly happen is have a fire or have some sort of disaster and not know how one of these things works. So uh, these will probably be uh, used in some sort of way for demonstration. I don't think I'd ever sell them uh, given that I don't know the history on them and these do have inspection dates. It says 2016. You got 2017, you got January 2017. So I don't know if they're still good and I would hate to sell them at an auction or at the flea market saying they're good and something happens and somebody's house burns down or they get in, in an accident. They don't work. So Good testing tools there. Somebody will be happy down the road. Now we kind of have some room to walk in here. Let's get focused a little bit. 
you ever need a five gallon bucket, my goodness, you sure got enough. I, I use these a lot when I do scrapping, but I don't really know what I'd do with close to a hundred. So there's actually a lot more of these uh, shelving units than I thought. You know, sometimes these shelving units are like three of them go as one, maybe four. No, I think like three usually go as one. So sometimes like 20 bucks for one rack. There has to be four racks just there. And you got one there, maybe one and a half. So between the shelving units, if I got, let's say I just got like 10 bucks for one rack, I would have... 70 bucks 60 70 bucks just there now i break even which is really really nice and these sell very very quickly it's one of those things that everyone likes them more than the metal ones and that's because they're very lightweight they aren't too bulky and they're very very sturdy all right they're very very sturdy you put something on that and it's not going to fall off you put something on the metal rack sometimes they might tip over so that is definitely the good buy there and that's definitely made up for the whole storage locker and everything else in here is definitely a bonus Moving right along here in the corner, we have some more shelving uh, racks. We have a garbage can and a five gallon bucket with what looks like some a flag. We'd like to see what's in this box. So we have a laptop bag, no laptop. Dust, that would probably go with that. That's a dust pan. I gotta go with the dust broom. Oh, look, we got more here. Didn't even see that. Uh, not, this says pictures. This is more chainsaw chains. Oh, this is uh, Team Six pictures. Uh, empty. Empty. Glove. Some of these flags, these are good. Put that over there. Got ourselves a vest and another vest. Explosives in use. Hmm. Another clipboard. We got some chainsaw oil down at the bottom. I do not see a chainsaw in this locker, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, one thing. <laughs> It's kind of funny, so when we were at the auction, the auction itself, there was these barrels back here, and then at the next facility, I was thinking, like, is there anything in here that would be really terrible to have? Uh, and something, you know, one thing that whenever you're in this business, it's like, your dumping fees are 80% of your concern with anything, with going into even bidding on a locker in, in general. So, I realized, if these barrels are full, I can be really, really screwed, and they can be filled up with a lot of different kind of waste, and waste that costs a lot of money to get rid of, so uh, really hoping they're not full anyway, but they sound pretty empty. We have this bin up here, but moment of truth, we feel like they're empty. They are empty, and they are clean. Well, that one's empty. This one. That's empty too. So, avoid it a major disaster they were buying this locker. Because if these things were full of who knows what, we could be in a lot of trouble. Scrap metal back here. I like myself some mystery fins. That is nothing. Ooh, this is empty. This is clean. This is a uh, 10 quart drain container. So this would be to, uh, if you're doing like an oil change maybe on your car, that would be great, or on your lawnmower. Got yourself some bleach. So if you ever get thirsty, some press board uh, shelves. shelves. They also have the, uh, the racks or the, uh, the L's for your 
connecting to the wall for these shelves. This one already has them on it, so that's not too bad. Probably get three bucks for that. I mean, five, ten bucks for all the shelves. This says ten parts on it, so I'm gonna assume it's probably ten parts. And that's exactly what it looks like. Some steaks. Some vice grips. Or a vice grip. Not too much there. Whiteboard again. Alrighty, so. Here we got a bin of one. This thing is greasy. Greasy. We need some husky tools. A little screwdriver. Yeah, smaller screwdriver. This looks like most likely is chainsaw tools. It's got that bar chain oil smell to it. Oh, that's exactly what it is. I don't know the value on this. This might be steel brand. I don't even know if they're marked. We got this to take off. The cover usually you got some sharpening objects. That's I think for your to find the angle on your your bar, I would assume. The chain bar itself. These are to sharpen your blades. You got a handle down here, so that's I don't know the value on this. This would be something that's 10 bucks. This would be something that's 30 bucks, hundred dollars. I really don't know. I don't imagine it being that expensive because I uh, I come across the chainsaw sharpening like the electric electric one that you do yourself I come across that quite often and they usually go really really cheap so you will see all right moving on to the corner over here looks like we have a tire always fun and exciting Absorbs oil, grease, hydraulic fluid, water, and other liquid spills. And that's another one. So we have two of those. I don't know the value on them. I'll probably want to just keep them for myself. It's always good to have this kind of stuff. If you're doing an oil change in your yard, man, your driveway or something like that, you get oil everywhere. It's always good to throw this stuff on there. I guess it's it's probably very similar to Speedy Drive, which you might see at a, a baseball stadium or at a baseball field, softball field. Brand new cork boards. That one is it. This one is. So it has a price on it. It did not. I'd say like two or three bucks for that. This looks like all cat litter for more oil spills. You got a bunch of these diesel cans. I went out and actually bought one at a yard sale for five bucks. So maybe 10, 15 out of the all three. And this looks like a decent chain. I notice when you film, you have to kind of be in sunlight or not in sunlight. It can't be half and half. That's for uh, splitting wood. I, is that a chuck? Is that what that's called? Not for splitting wood. I think it's for if you're trying to cut down a tree, you slide that in there. Kind of gives you leverage. You can kind of drop the tree where you want to drop it. All right. Now it looks like this is the last bin, aside from this door that kind of has to go out. You got a whole box of safety awareness for unexploded ordnance. Good old paper. That's uh, like a lunch bag. Some sitting off file down there. Some more paper stuff. Oh, what we got? Oh, Poss possible money. Nice key box. You got yourself a key as well good for uh, storage lockers. These things are like five or eight bucks just for this. So, got myself another lock as well. I don't use these. I use the, I don't know what you'd even call them, pad locker or whatever the traditional style is. Not a gym locker. Just get, if you're looking to get in this business, just get a, a lock with a key. You don't need one. That's got all the dials on it. Like it's gym class. So, 
that's good. Only 30 is in here, and then we'll be pretty much done with the locker. Very, very exciting. Fun stuff. All right, so that's going to wrap it up here for today's treasure hunt, today's adventure. It was a ton of fun going through that storage locker. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below. I will be coming out with more storage locker videos in the future. I do have a whole playlist on all the storage lockers that I've done in the past. Uh, and I think there's going to be a couple more auctions next week that I'm going to attend. So I'm going to try to pick up a couple more lockers there. So if you guys did enjoy it, smack the like button, subscribe down below, and I'll catch up with you guys next time for our next fun adventure. And as always, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.